I think it's really smart for businesses to employ veterans. For us, it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. Sword & Plow is a veteran-owned social impact fashion brand, and we repurpose thousands of pounds of military surplus into really stylish and durable bags and accessories. I think it's really smart for businesses to employ veterans because veterans are some of the most determined, resilient, both technical and managerial leaders that I have met. There are just so many things that you learn in the military about leading people, about motivating people, about time management, resiliency, and problem solving that apply 100% to the civilian workplace no matter what role you're in. And there's also a lot of um, very technical skills that transfer completely as well. The name Sword and Plow comes from the phrase to turn swords into plowshares, which means to take a military technology and apply it to a peaceful civilian application. And that's really exactly what we do. This is Sword and Plow's brass 50 caliber bar and circle necklace. And this is one of my favorite products. It's made in Kentucky by a veteran jewelry maker named Shanna. And it's actually hand hammered out of a 50 caliber bullet casing. This is one of my favorite products. It's made out of a really durable green canvas and then inside of it has a beautiful pocket from our uniform donation program. When we launched on Kickstarter, we were hearing this incredible, overwhelming, outpouring of positive support and it was a variety of different aspects it was people proud to carry our bag because their dad is currently serving in afghanistan or a mom that's proud to carry you know a tote bag because her son served 10 years ago or you know someone our age that was just happy to see a product that was made out of quality materials in a sustainable way that was supporting the environment and social impact when i look back on my life uh, both with Sword and Plow and with the Army, the most challenging experiences that I've had have been the ones that I often look back on most fondly. 